Hey James, Mr. Cass, what brings you here to Raw? WWE wants to have this face-off between our world champions tonight, so I came here with my champions to this brand. Oh, which reminds me, I just want to say that I'm sorry about you losing to Traymore Staggs on SmackDown a few weeks back. I made it a steel cage match just so the thunderous one doesn't interrupt the match. Oh, it's all good. I mean, yeah, it sucks, but I am also interested in seeing the Lock and Trey face each other at Crown Jewel. Feels like a dream match. Well, according to their history, they have fought each other in a singles match only once in their careers. This will be the second time they will ever face each other. It'd be interesting to see how far they've evolved. Wait, I probably should have asked you, what are you doing here on Raw? Aren't you technically a SmackDown superstar? Yeah, but William Regal booked me and Bruce Weaver to go against the world champions tonight as a little payback from last week. Plus, I'm just used to jumping between brands especially during my time as the double champ. Come to think of it, I wonder if WWE management were just waiting for me to lose both my titles just to eventually introduce the crown jewel championship, because what would have happened if I was still holding both titles? Would I just win the crown jewel championship by default? That's a great question. A great question that I don't have the answer to. Maybe they were waiting for this moment, and maybe that could mean you are probably the last double champion in WWE. At least for a while. I guess so. Anyways, I got to get ready for my match. I'll see you around. Of course. Good luck with your match. Thanks. Do we have your attention now? Are we just out here to clear the air? Are they trying to make us hate each other prior to Crown Jewel? I know right. I mean what exactly are we going to talk about? The double champ has no time for any of you back there and everyone else out here. Well, I guess we can just compliment each other's achievements, right? I guess we could. What should we compliment? You know what? I think there's something I want to talk about. It is something that I find very impressive with you too. I want to talk about your list. That crumpled up piece of paper that probably smells just as awful as the WWE universe. Can I just say how impressed I am that a piece of paper made you to this successful in WWE? I mean, some of us just get here because of our families. But you guys did something literally nobody else would. You to rely on some notebook paper. It's like you guys wrote your own script. Your own destiny. As a matter of fact, can I read what you got on that list? Don't worry. I'm not going to rip the paper. That thing looks like it's been through enough. Thank you. Let's see. Star in a WWE action movie? Does WWE even make movies these days? Yeah, good luck with that one. Get my own action figure? Win a dance off? Wrestle in a crybaby match? Find out what's inside the Undertaker's urn? Radina, what the hell is this list? While you only read some of the stupid things that my husband wrote, which I couldn't blame him then, we started that list when we were in high school. I could imagine all of the stuff he wrote didn't go so well, no offense. Anyways, this was still all impressive nonetheless. However, there's something that's missing. Be right back. Is there a sticky note and a pen here? Relax, I'm not going to vandalize this list. I just want to add an extra objective. Here. That's what's missing on the list. You forgot to put become the first ever crown jewel champion. I mean, can't you believe that, babe? They're not even aware about what's going to happen next Saturday. Oh yeah? There's also one other thing we can write on the list. Defeat the lock in LJ. Oh that's right. You guys have never beaten us before, haven't you? I mean that's going to be the best thing about Crown Jewel. History is going to repeat itself. The last time you and her were facing us in a singles competition, you couldn't beat us. If you'd have failed to stop us then, then why bother trying now? You were lucky that we helped you keep your championship at Bad Blood because if that didn't happen, you wouldn't be booked in that steel cage match against James Crimson the SmackDown after. 
James would have been standing right here right now, thanks to me. We don't have to worry about James anymore. For the second time in his career, he's now meaningless. He serves zero purpose in this business once again, just like his family. But, as I said, that guy's in the past. Sorry to fly off topic. Traymore, you've been needing our help so often that for once, I can't even think how I should help you for Crown Jewel. For the first time in your whole career, you are finally going to have some balls. You're finally going to step out of your wife's shadow once again and potentially make actual history for yourself. So, the most I can do, or say, is to tell you and your wife. Good luck at Crown Jewel because that's all you two are going to need when you to come back for round two. Gee, and I thought I complained too much. You know, what they say about making history, Jack, first time for everything. So yeah, we could put Defeat the Lock and LJ on our list because when me and my husband finally beat you to low tier, unfaithful, unforgiving SOBs at Crown Jewel, we not only become the two most powerful champions in this era, but we also get to prove that we don't need that many favors from you to ever again. When we beat you at Crown Jewel, all of this motivation you to think you've been carrying vanishes. And knowing you guys, your world title reigns won't mean shit. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, representing the Alliance from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Phelps, Cindy. Highly anticipated matchup. The competitors in this one have been waiting all day to get their hands on each other. a true ballsy entrance. And from Oakland, California, Shotzi! Shotzi is such an unpredictable, unorthodox in-ring competitor. I'd say it's more like she's demented, not all there, and she likes it. Shotzi doesn't conform to other people's ideas about the type of superstar she should be. She doesn't let others' judgment defy her. She is her own person through and through. Not afraid to fight, knows how to survive. And she's pretty fun to watch inside the ring, too. In your face, an unapologetic Shotzi is set for action tonight. Taking care of business and doing it with absolutely no regard for her own well-being. This is what Shotzi is all about. Even when her back is against the wall, Shotzi refuses to back down. Should make for an interesting clash here. Yeah, but chopping at the bit is a superstar who's felt underrated and underappreciated as of late. And it's time for her to make everyone remember just how good she really is. Another one? I think Rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind Rage. Got the leg. Elbow drop to the knee. 
Oh, Shotzi manages to counter. And another counter. Target in the arm now. And whatever the game plan, it didn't look to work out for Shotzi there. She can withstand the punishment, though. <laughs> Shotzi is one of the most unique superstars on the WWE roster. Corey, I imagine it has to be hard for opponents to overcome that chaotic style of hers. Yeah, if you're trying to predict Shotzi's next move, she'll already have you beat. What you have to do is stick to your own plan and keep the pressure up on her. Sooner or later, Shotzi's chaos will end up coming back to bite her. Look at her, taking in all the energy from the crowd. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Can she score the pin? She kicks out with authority after two. No celebrations yet. And a kick. And Shotzi is being taken apart here. Yeah, Shotzi's proven to be her own worst enemy, and her opponent's really seizing any and all opportunity here. Shotzi holds her off. No. Wicked forearm. Did you hear that thud? Kick. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show up. A heel hook locked in. You can almost hear the opponent yelling in agony. No way! Suicide died to the outside. Cole does it better. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Selena Del Sol. You don't see that every day, but it's effective. That one-of-a-kind style of Shotzi in full effect. Holy, meet the barricade. She scores big with the counter. There! That was vicious. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Nasty stomp of the arm. She throws her back in. And look at her feeding off the WWE Universe's energy. Shotzi staggers up, struggling to regain any composure. Oh my God, poison runner. Nothing Shotzi can do now. Big victory tonight. Hardfought win as well. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on just a second. Wait, do you think, do you think they're here? Wait, wait, look out from behind. Oh, no. This superstar never saw them coming. Nasty assault. From out of nowhere. Pathetic. Well, the team's going to decide who actually starts this match as the legal partner. Seems to be a little trouble in paradise before the opening bell. Okay, it looks like we finally have got it settled here. Here There's we go. The bell. Some dissension among the ranks, guys. If these two can't get on the same page, there is no chance of success. And it looks like no love loss between these competitors based on that display. Uh-oh. Oh, just completely off target there. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Close uh, line! Oh, that'll leave a mark. Ooh! Tossed into the corner. Oof! Running knee in the corner. Beautiful drop kick. He's getting a huge boost right now from all those chants and cheers. Saw that one coming, took advantage. Missed timing with that springboard. Oh, I needed a jaw. Waiting for their fallen opponent and a step up set on. And now he's just being pushed around. He's got to boost up his levels of aggression at this point. Not even a near fall there. He turns it around. Flat out power. Wow. A deadlift military press. Holy moly. And a slam. I do not see this 
match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. He's getting a little batter now. One. Countered with the knee to the face. The face first. Cuts. Here's some effective offense with that. Oh, a big knee drop. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body Whoa. like that is insane. Oh! Talk about rocking the jaw. Three. He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Whoa. Look at this. What a cross body. Took a massive risk. But it might. Uh oh. Neck breaker. A much needed big move. Oh, hoo -hoo, rocking the jaw. He's tagging out. There he goes, right into the corner. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. And a standing moonsault for the win. Two count. No, he gets the shoulder off. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Oh, man. Each competitor is showing they've done their homework. Looking to end this. Oh, and a double foot stomp. The end is in view. Oh, come on, ref. Get some control. Shut up, Byron. Shoulder tackle in the corner. He's on his heels a bit now. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course, they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Pinning down their opponent's arm. Driving a knee into the arm. Looking wobbly in the corner. Wicked clothesline. Oh, man, he is fired up now. And he gets the tag. <laughs> Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Spear! That's gotta be it. And he makes the save for his team. Nearly cut in half. Belly to belly. He is just reeling from that offense. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic? This looks like the setup to... Boom! Face first. Pedigree. Now that is an exclamation point. Is it enough? The cover! Man, that was such a long and hard-fought match. He earned that victory. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Here are your winners. Oh, boo-hoo. Go back to the locker room, lick your wounds, and come back better. That's easier said than done, Corey, especially going through a dispute with someone like that. He might be harsh, but he's right, Byron. There's no telling what's going to happen with their relationship after this loss. Yeah, this is a big hurdle to overcome. When the action takes place behind the scenes, anything goes. Forklifts, lockers, <laughs> chairs, tables, broken windows. We've seen it all over the years. We've definitely seen a lot, Michael Cole, but when it comes to these two, we ain't seen nothing yet. Uh, I just hope they stay away from my rental car. He should have ponied up for the insurance, you cheapskate. <laughs> what a forearm. Enable the counter. Basement drop kick. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength.
Undertaker. Watch out. Senton connects. Separation and an escape. Shotzi staggers up, struggling to regain any composure. Here it comes. Pedigree. Tough position to be caught in here. Man, that was a hard landing. Oh, yeah, she is really getting fired up. Got her in her sights and making clear she's going to make this hurt. She's looking to really turn things up a notch with that chair. Drop kick with precision. What a sick thud from that table. It seems like she's looking to take things up a notch or two. Yeah, she's definitely got something big planned with this table. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Ooh, take down, skull first. Ducks through, up and over, Selena Del Sol. Shotzi kindly requests that you never wake up. Up and down, what a slam. Ref, are you blind? And she had Shotzi's number there. Yeah. Monkey flip. Piercing shot to the body. Holy cow. That chair came in on them fast. Oh, my God. A DDT. Lights out. Oh, my God. The table has been set ablaze. That's not a table. It's a barbecue. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Through the table! Through the table! Oh no! Diving elbow drop! Driving down a forearm into their jaw. She's got her where she wants her. Here comes the setup, double underhook. No official needed here, as it looks like they've settled it themselves. Hey, you want to explain. Explain what? Did you did not read that sticky note? We did. I read it, Trey read it, and the cameraman saw it, meaning everybody else saw it. We were playing along, LJ. We just didn't want anyone to notice. So don't take our words personally. Let's just play along for the sake of management. Gold on display. She's got to be feeling mighty confident right about now.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Denver, Colorado, the WWE Women's Champion and the Deep South Champion, Redeemed Henderson. This is a grand entrance for a woman who's made history. She carries the weight of two championships. She is absolutely at the top of the women's division, and she's carrying the two championships to prove it. The WWE Universe is still buzzing about the double champ, and I can't say I blame them. Hey, it's not easy carrying two championships everywhere you go. How do you do it, Byron? You're both the baldest and the lamest. Oh, pop. stop. Corey, that's not funny at all. From Dungeon to Diva to an all time great. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. No! Well, Natalia represents a dynasty of sports entertainment. Natalia has a great mixture of mat wrestling skill as well as pure power. The Queen of Hearts is about to hold court. The champ is here, and I think she's going to use this non-title match and take some more risks and send a message to the rest of the locker room, guys. Yeah, Michael, and that message has to be that this is her title. I'm sure the whole roster is going to be watching the monitors very closely during this match. This match could be one to study for everyone. But then we have Natalya, who is ready to unleash a furious attack. Well, there's a reason Natalya's feared, and that's because she'll beat respect into you with an ear-to-ear -ear smile on her face. Ugh. And she had Natalya's number there. Corey, Natalya has been a fixture of this women's division for such a long time. There's so much tape on her that it has to make her somewhat easier to scout. Any idea what she could do to possibly shake her opponent up here? Natalya is definitely a creature of habit, Cole, and you're absolutely right that that affects how her opponents scout her. I know it's not in her nature, but the biggest thing she could do here is to shake things up, come from a more spontaneous angle than she usually does. And a slap, too. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. And she heads to the floor to think of her next move. Uh, time for some deep breaths. Oh, she's removing the turnbuckle pad. Come on, this isn't right. Hurting the shoulder. Natalia failing to offer any resistance here. Natalia needs to find an opening fast. And a slap for the exclamation point. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Step delivers the inverted deep. Kick out. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Making sure her opponent remembers who the better superstar is. <laughs> Ducking out of trouble. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. <laughs> she is adding insult to injury, and I love it. Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. She's struggling to defend herself. She's got to reestablish herself back into the match now. Oh, man. Looking for a high-risk, high-reward situation. Of the ring, she has to mind the 10 count. Drop kick from behind. Ouch. Whoa. 
Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Over the top rope into the area. And that can vanquish Natalya. Shoulders down. And a quick kick out. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. And you see a perplexed look now. Such impactful offense couldn't gain a pinfall. Momentum is clearly against Natalya now. I don't know if Natalya can withstand this. She's taking things to ringside. Had that one scouted. Natalia. Oh, sit out power bomb. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. A single leg camel clutch and a great counter. Stop anybody. Discus clothesline. Natalia showing off that patented in ring prowess there. Scratching and clawing. This could be it. She kicks out with force. How? How? Nicely done. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Finish this. Ooh. Two fighters putting their haymakers on autopilot right now. Who will break first? That is the question. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Toe to toe, treating each other like back and forth, blow for blow, just teeing off on another. She left an opening. It's a knockout driver. Wow. <laughs> Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. She adjusts it and re follow a moonsault. Wow! And that can vanquish Natalia. Two. Arm raised in victory, and look who's here to, to join in on the celebration. Great show of support after a hard-fought victory.